Hi guys, how are you doing? This is your girl, the boss lady, hashtag the Duke Bay, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you're here for the first time, please hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for coming through. Welcome to the family of everything fashionable and beautiful. And if you're that loyal family member, you're always here. I thank you so much for being so supportive. You really encourage me so much. So shout out to you family member so today i kind of like i uh, want to talk to some to you about something that is really really close to my heart i'm sure you guys have seen me post it in the my other platforms and you all have been so good to me and been you know really jumping on and being so supportive in that manner so uh you know that i run an initiative called elena initiators where basically um we kind of supply sanitary wear, including life skills, to a different uh, girls' home in Johannesburg. So Elena, Elena Initiatives is more like a communication um, to young girls, especially at more dif disadvantaged places or situations in their lives. Um, guys this is very close to my heart for many reasons you know i didn't have the most rosiest of, of backgrounds that uh, the day i actually walked in in a shop and i could afford to buy myself a pack of pads it felt like a victory you know it felt like such a big miracle because for the longest part of my life as a young girl things that i had to use for my menstrual cycle was things that no girl has to go through uh, that and i i, I realized how it affected my my personality how it affected my attitude and character how it affected my self-esteem at that uh, point because as much as it's hidden trying to make sure it, it's kept hidden was also something that we generally as women have to struggle with it you know it's how it's considered dirty you know like if you ask for a guy to buy your pets not all of them are so up in making sure you get them you know oh guys don't even know what pets you, you must buy for your girl even though some have been dating for a long time but while this is one thing that gives life because if one can't have menstrual cycle it means chances are high they can't i think not even chances are high they won't be able to to have children but i don't know why it's always kept so hidden or considered dirty in itself so because of i didn't have sanitary way guys i don't even want to go into detail on, on the things that i used to use by uh, back then uh, so one of the things I told myself that I didn't want, it's not like I'm absolutely rich guys, but listen, I'm going to be rich eh? I'm going to be wealthy oh, and it's not going to be because of a snake. Eh? I'm telling yourself, um, is that I, I, I made a decision that the moment I can afford to buy myself a pack of pad, I'm going to try to make sure that I buy someone else a pack of pad. That's how I wanted to start off. Didn't matter whether it be my neighbor, be it my friends, be what, but what I said is that if I could afford to buy myself a get your point that I can actually buy myself and I'm left with extra cash, I can certainly buy someone else um pack of pets. So that's how it started. So I started off buying pads and then uh you know the more um I grew to understand the need out there, you know, how many girls literally miss school. Because menstrual cycle, guys, goes, comes with a lot of things already. It comes, you know, there's uh, PMS. or That's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible because it comes in different levels for different people. You might have migra migraines, you know, blotting, mood swings, and these things you cannot control. Doctors don't even know what causes it exactly and there really there's not one medication for it so you kind of like have to try and find things that work for you certain foods etc so already just being on menstrual cycle it comes you know oh there's the pain some have the worst of pains that they have to miss school miss work because it's so bad so already it's coming with that you know the emotional strain you know it's not like we want to be moody it causes to be moved and you don't know what to do with it you know one day you are crying literally you're crying over a bin then why are you crying over a bin? then next day you're like why was i crying over a bin so it's something you cannot go so all these are other things that just come with you having a menstrual cycle then imagine if you don't have pads on top of that and right now i still don't understand why condoms are free and pads we still need to buy pads and 
being Zimbabwean it's even worse because if you want to know how much one pack of pear cost in Zimbabwe it will shock you because the last time I checked was almost like five five US dollars like a pack of pets so imagine a situation where families are failing to put a loaf of bread on the table we should it's just that because of currency changes right I really don't know how much it is right now but the last time you know bread was like one US dollar two US dollars and people are struggling to have bread every single day so how much more a pack of pet and imagine a household that has more than one girl in itself so if you think about that and how expensive it is oh my gosh it really you discover and then you ask have you ever asked yourself you know I'll speak to the brothers the uncles the fathers out there have you ever asked yourself what is your sister using if you are failing to put a loaf of bread on the table who's buying her a pack of pet has it ever moved you as a man out there it was a brother out there to say okay i know my sister is at this age and at home we can't even afford tissues we are using newspaper right so who's buying a pack of pets if you have to ask yourself that you will realize how much of a great need it is because we cannot control it if we could press a button and it stops we could but we cannot control it so that's one of the things that really moved me that's very close to my heart to be able to facilitate or even find girls with sanitary way when i say sanitary it's not only pets you know sanitary way we need especially for homes for girls homes you know they need rollers they need toothbrushes they need towels they need soap they need all these other things so i thought it's it's something that i think with the little that i have that i can start off with but i'm glad that there's so many people we have partnered in that manner who who have really came through my friends uh who have really came through with pack of pets with towels etc etc and then we've been able to fund um some of these girls homes and as well um i realized uh you know in my story how i started up as a self-taught makeup artist and how i've moved from um corporate to what i'm doing right now and realizing that i really didn't have to go to school to be a professional makeup artist you know disclaimer i'm not saying makeup artists are wrong and you you cannot go to a makeup school but now there are careers that you can get onto by self-teaching or actually going online and figuring out how things are the reason being is that we are moving into society there's now like millennial careers that now are functional um in this area and you learning and trying to engage and trying to adopt any of the skills will be very helpful uh, to you. You know, you can be academic, which is amazing. And then you can have a, a, a taught skill that you can teach yourself or with your hands. Because trust me, one of us, all of us have something that we can do. Like all of us were born with a, parti- with a particular gift. The unfortunate thing is that our education system really doesn't it it tries when it comes to po- sports because i remember how we have sports at school and we have like woodwork and agriculture and everything because that's trying to make you discover what you really enjoy but it's just that it's not really supported it's not financial for us to really think it can be a career something you can do in the long run so having to have something that we can do with your hands it can free you trust me it filled me from a lot of financial strain it filled me from a lot of doing jobs that we do not like but because we need to meet um you know needs in our families you know some of us are lawyers not because we wanted to be a lawyer because but it sounded good it sounded important because people are always going to judge you on what you do you know when you say i'm a lawyer people look at you and talk to you in a different way when more than when you're like i'm just a dj you know people look at you in a different way as well so sometimes we engage and that's very frustrating most people are working great jobs seems but they're very frustrated actually all the jobs are not even meeting their needs anyway that's a story for another day so one of the things that i'm really doing now i'm very passionate about skills skills development you know if i could learn from how bad i was or from actually not knowing anything i always believe someone else can learn as well and you can discover your niche so what we're doing is that i am currently hosting free beauty master classes for this girl's home simply i just go to a girl's home i give them tutorials on how they can do makeup 
for themselves and for other people so that they can also make money out of it you know because you never know where life takes you some don't even have the opportunity to finish school because it's a girl's home they are dependent on sponsors sponsoring them for education etc sometimes they are there sometimes they are not enough to do actually the degrees that they want but so that they have options where they can even take themselves to school is to equip them with a lifelong skill so it's not only makeup you know in the long run the desire is to be able to actually bring all of my industry friends i'm talking about hairstylists i'm talking about designers photographers etc etc so that they can engage with them at whatever appeals to them or what they think they can do or better at it but for now we are doing a beauty master classes for them and you know girls love makeup so they are really excited about that and one of the things i'm hoping i can get you know from from anybody is getting tools for them that as much as i go there and do beauty master classes with them i can leave them with tools that they can practice with or even start going to clients with i'm talking about like things like brushes you know eyeshadows foundations you know if i can get them starter packs for them to start them off uh, so that they can start uh, working and also making money then they can buy their own products or extend the makeup kit so i'm appealing to anyone if you think you want to partner into any one of those two just hit up your girl the girls will really really appreciate it and i'll also appreciate it because i promise you it can change someone's life it did change mine I believe it can also change the eyes and it also keep them focused it also values what you do you know when you're doing something with your hand there's so much value you see in yourself you know before someone says something to you it's like how you send bold uh, insure his legs you know he sees value like his legs like literally they have insurance if he had to run a marathon and he broke his toe or something like that you know he can be paid and compensated depending on how much he was going to make there so that's that's value footballers do the same thing it's a value in something no one can take that away from you so i believe it can have lifelong change because we know now a lot of people are losing their jobs there's such a huge gap when you look at unemployment in the country and in africa in itself so having to create employment because once i open a business i'm able to hire one or two people that's already having uh, created employment for someone else so we'll create such a sustainable uh, environment for them you know to restore hope because most of these girls homes it's girls that have been you know abused before raped before run away from home run away from marriages etc and they're looking at a safe place they feel hopeless uh, most of the time so having to engage with them is, and equipping them and seeing value in them is actually doing such a great great transformation in their life so i'm really hoping that you know you jump on onto the vision and i pray to god that it will go bigger than um what i see it is right now and it will touch many lives so yeah that's all about elena initiator so if you have any questions or you would like to know on how you can support or sponsor please feel free to hit me up the details are down or below or just dm your girl and your girl We'll make sure that you have the right information anyway guys thank you so much for coming through you know what to do if you haven't subscribed why why are you doing that anyway please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next